Jean Kennedy Smith, a Kennedy clan sister who as the United States ambassador to Ireland in the 1990s helped pave the way for a formal agreement to end decades of sectarian violence in Northern Ireland, died on Wednesday at her home in Manhattan. She was 92. Her daughter Kim Smith confirmed the death. Ms. Smith was the second youngest and last surviving sibling in a family that embedded itself in the American consciousness and wrote itself into American history, producing a president and senators and an unrivaled mystique fashioned out of political glory, personal charisma, great wealth and staggering tragedy. Until the age when most people retire, Ms. Smith led a quiet life of privilege and philanthropy, with palatial homes, summers at the shore and a busy calendar of society and charity functions. She shared family triumphs and tragedies, though always in the shadow of her siblings, including President John F. Kennedy, Senators Robert F. Kennedy and Edward M. Kennedy, the youngest, Eunice Shriver and Patricia Kennedy Lawford. But in 1993, when she was 65 and the widow of Stephen E. Smith, the Kennedy family's troubleshooter and financial advisor, Ms. Smith was named ambassador to Dublin by President Bill Clinton at the behest of her brother Edward, known in the family as Teddy. Ms. Smith was the first Kennedy woman of her generation to take on a serious political job. Like her sisters and the wives of her brothers, she had taken on roles in family political campaigns but not in public service. Her father, Joseph P. Kennedy Sr., had been the ambassador to Britain when she was a little girl, and she had visited Ireland, the land of her ancestors, many times. But she knew little about diplomacy, Irish politics or the intricacies of the sectarian violence known as the Troubles, the Irish Republican Army's campaign of bombings and assassinations to drive the British out of Ulster and unite overwhelmingly Roman Catholic Ireland with predominantly Protestant Northern Ireland. The appointment, too, was made at a crucial time, as movement had begun toward a settlement to end decades of fighting that had left thousands dead on all sides. But to many in Washington, appointing a Kennedy to Dublin was good politics. The Irish regarded President Kennedy as a virtual saint and his extended family as dear transatlantic cousins. And they took to her warmly. Soon she became the second most prominent woman in Ireland, after President Mary Robinson. With Irish leaders eager to help, she embraced her job, and over the next five years played a role in the Ulster settlement. Ms. Smith ruffled feathers, broke rules and brushed aside diplomatic niceties. She was reprimanded by Secretary of State Warren M. Christopher for removing two senior staff members who disagreed with her views. She visited Northern Ireland, a British province and not her turf, and met repeatedly with Gerry Adams, the head of the IRA.